So uh, off to the child's baseball. We had a break in between, and I found... Is this the same thing you were telling me about when we did the... same thing when we got our bottle of rum. When we did our four square. We had Yo-Ho-Ho and, Yo -ho -ho and a bottle of rum. Uh, we got the four square, and I got this at the same place. It's from Friendship Wine and Liquor. So uh, this is exclusively bottled for Friendship Wine and Liquor. So this now we know where you went, and you got the other... It's Friendship Wine and Liquor. Friendship Wine and Liquor. Okay. It's barrel number 125. It's bottle number 83 out of the barrel. Mm. And this is the Jefferson's Reserve Single Barrel. Mm. It is bottled at a hefty 50%. It's got a five. Not at the 60% from the four square, but no. it's up there. All right, I'm gonna, wait, wait, hold on. Little pop. No, pop. Little pop. Little pop. Pop and a gluck gluck. Pop. Should we get a gluck gluck? Let's see. You know, that's so nice. Oh. It just sounds so nice. That's for you. It sounds so nice. That's for me. Now, Jefferson's does not distill anything, right? Uh, on the bottles, everything says it's bottled by them. So right. I'm going to guess... I think they're like a blender, or they just... They, they're uh, uh, they call themselves uh, Bottled by Art Kentucky Artisan Distillery. I don't uh, know that they're actually doing any distilling. I, think, I thought they were like, they bought barrels, yeah. and they blend, and they do all kinds of crazy stuff. Because they did the ocean, yep. right? And they've done stuff in like wine casks, yep. and all kinds of crazy, all yep. kinds of fun stuff. And we've seen them at any number of whiskey shows. Events. And they have a pretty, and pretty broad range of things. They have a wide range of flavors and setup, and they are all very good. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably put them at, at, you know, B plus, A minus for most of their stuff. I like what they do. Uh, you know, I don't know that anything they have is what I would call, you know, truly exceptional stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, oh, I'm going to give that a 95. Right. But I don't know that they have anything that you'd be like, whew, stay away from that bottle. Right. That's not no, good. They're, they're good. I, I mean, like they really basic. know what they're doing. I think they, they really roll out a nice solid mm -hmm. bourbon. Yeah. Which is nice. All right, well, let's go in. So, cheers. Cheers. So, this is their very old, very small batch. And I assume it's just regular, you know, it's a, it's a new charred barrel, whatever it is. They're not doing anything funky with this, are they? I don't think they so. They don't finish it or put them in a different kind of cast. I think or, it's all coming out of one Because they do stuff with like wine casts and they do all kinds but of I things. think this is all just one single. They might do a rum cast too. Yeah, probably. I mean, they, they, everybody seems to be doing something different these days. This is all out of the one cask, the one barrel. It smells great. You know, you get the usual, your usual classic, you know, little buttered popcorn maybe. You get a little, you know, brown sugar, a little cinnamon. And you get a little of that rye heat. Now there's a little bit of maybe like, like the first nosing, I almost got like a little bit of like wet cardboard kind of thing. Yeah. You know? But after that, I got the popcorn and all the other stuff. Wet cardboard. That's I did. Never, I got a little bit. That's never good. Well, you know, you get that sometimes. Or maybe it was just, you know, just something crawled up my nose. Never Who knows? Good. All right. I'm going to go for a taste. Ooh. That's got some heat to it. That's a hot one, but I get a little bit, I get some rye the first, like right, right at the onset, like a little spiciness. You didn't try it, did you? I'm just still losing it. I don't dive in like you. Oh, come on, man. Get busy. So I'm, I'm out at uh, the Interwebs, uh -huh. and they are a Louisville, Kentucky-based bourbon whiskey, which is distilled, blended, and bottled in the U.S. by Pernod Ricard. Huh. And they say they use experimental blending and aging techniques, such as aging bourbon at sea, and it produces a, a rye whiskey, and the Jefferson works in a four-step process, distill, age, cut to proof, and bottle. Hmm. So, it is a bourbon distilled by other companies. Okay. And then they acquired the Kentucky Artisan Distillery, so I guess some amount of this is now distilled by... Them, and the rest is now okay. from independent distillers. Oh, interesting. Okay. So they're almost like an independent bottle of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's a little hot at first. That's nice. And there's a little bit of rye, I think. That's nice. A little pepper. A little, little peppery, you know, sharp, spicy note That's at the nice. beginning. Then I get a little bit of, you know, the classic sweetness coming through. You know, your brown sugars, your caramel, a little bit of popcorn, you know? That's nice. I really like that. A little black pepper on the back end. It's kind of all in the middle. It's like mid-palate. It's all like mid-palate. 
and it has a a, um, a warm finish, but it's a little short. Mm. This finishes go. I don't know. Maybe you think it's a little longer. I don't know. No, I think, no, it's no, a, I think you're right. A shorter kind of finish. I'm not gonna say it's long. I'm gonna say medium. I'm gonna say a medium finish. Medium. Medium finish. For the for the heat, though, I would have thought. And have a slightly longer finish. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it starts 50%. off... Again, this is like when we did the rum a, a, a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts off hot, but then once you adjust to it, it's it's a little easier to drink, I think. You know, like I'm not getting on the second and third taste. Or maybe that's just anesthesia. <laughs> maybe I'm just numb. Maybe my taste buds are numb. They're dead. They're dead. dead. Completely dead. Dead to me. No, but that's really nice. I like that. Um... So their website says you should have a cinnamon toast toffee and brown sugar flavor. I got cinnamon toast crunch. Is that and it, it says there's a little bit of a long finish with a hint of spice. Mm. I'm not getting such a long finish. No, I'm not either. Although after the second taste, finish seems a little bit longer. Maybe I had a little trouble with the heat up front. Okay. You know what I do have though? I got some cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. You want to uh, pair it? Crunch. You want to pair some? <laughs> want to pair some cereal with some bourbon? No, thank you. you know what? I'm doing that. I'm gonna take a little handful. I'm gonna chew a little bit of cinnamon toast crunch. You know, I think it's probably a little bit fresh. No, no, thank you. Mmm, mmm, super fresh, crispy. I'm gonna try with some bourbon. Next thing you know, you throw like the fireball and some rum chata, drinking your cinnamon toast crunches. You know, that's pretty good. That's nice. You figure that's probably a corn based cereal, right? Mm hmm. With some cinnamon, it goes pretty nice with that. Some loaded high Could you, oh, you don't need fructose in there? Are you a cinnamon fan? It's okay. Like, would you like, like, a, cinnamon, like a cinnamon sugar donut? A cinnamon swirl? Yeah. Oh, that would be nice with this. This would go good with dessert. This is a dessert drink. What do you think? Uh, After dinner? This is, this is certainly a a rich dessert. Mm -hmm. We always talk about the same three desserts. The panna cotta? No, the crumb the brulee, brulee, panna cotta, the cheesecake. cheesecake. How about a nice little cannoli? Any of those things. Uh, you could do cannoli. I think this might pair well with chocolate. Yeah. If you had like oh, a, I would agree. Yeah. a uh, flourless chocolate cake or maybe oh, a chocolate oh, mousse oh, cake. Again, nice. what, else, what else don't we have here? We can talk about well, it and drool into our glass. It's something to cut the richness of the dessert. You know? Yeah, yeah, it gives that a, a spice characteristic to go and kind of counterbalance what goes yep. on there. So, anyhow, um, yeah, I like it. It's good. I, I just go B+. Plus. I don't think it's like, it's not yeah, an exceptional a, bourbon, but it's a very good bourbon. It's certainly not a bourbon I would turn down. No. I'm all. glad I bought the bottle. I think with some of the people that we know that are big fans of bourbons, I think this will be something that's mm -hmm. pleasing to everyone. I think so. Um, I'm going to have a little more I'd be, I'd be intrigued what the mash bill is. I always want to know mm -hmm. what they're coming up with for a mash bill. To see, you know, it's 51% corn and then what? Yeah, you know, I this, gotcha. this seems to me to be kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether there's maybe more corn in it. Maybe. Um, but I got a little I bit of rind at the beginning. Too. So. Okay, we digress. We always digress. Shall we, shall we just wrap it up? We should wrap it All up. All right, sir. Well, thank you for purchasing it. Sure. Thank you for bringing it over. I do enjoy the Jefferson's. And, uh, cheers to you and cheers, cheers to Jefferson's bourbon. You made another good bottle. Yeah, good stuff. Cheers.